Hello, and welcome to Viking Views. I'm Guillermo Mosquita. Marshall was filled with music on September 18th and 19th from the annual Foothills Fest. This year's Foothill Fest consisted of jewelry, art, food vendors, 19 bands that played through both days, and even a barbecue contest. The event is so popular, even some of the international students came out to enjoy the event. Uh, so it was my first time at the Indian Foothills Festival. Uh, I was orig I'm originally from Ireland, but I came over this year, so it was my first time going. Uh, the weather whenever we went was great, me and some of my friends went on. Uh, and then the bands and the food I thought was amazing. Uh, we went, firstly, we went to a barbecue uh, contest and it was really good, it was really good fun. Then we heard about this band, uh, Father Muckers, which uh, it immediately attracted us to them just because of the interesting name. Nearly 500 people showed up to the free event both days to enjoy good food and music. I brought my family there and they loved it. My mom loves that kind of stuff. The music was awesome. Like it was, I, don't, I can't describe what it was, but it was really good. The atmosphere was awesome. It was just a good time in general. The Foothill Fest coordinators hope to continue this event annually and look forward Event organizers hope to have another successful event next year. The Vikings kicked off family weekend tailgating before the football game Viking Views, Randy Beck reports on how family, friends, and students gathered at the Burns Center parking lot to celebrate family and football. The tailgating zone was full of grills and lawn games for family weekend. Young kids had an inflatable bounce house while college students consumed adult beverages in preparation for the Valley versus Peru state football game. Lawn games like bags and washers were a hot topic with the students this year. And what would tailgating be without a few drinking games? The activity center gave away tons of freebies like koozies, cups, beads, and pens for those who attended. Students were impressed with the way the school put on the tailgating event this year and hope for another great year next year. Viking Views, Randy Beck. The Vikings fell to Peru State 39-34, and the Vikings traveled to play Grand View in Iowa next. The Missouri Valley College women's volleyball team took on the Avila Eagles. Viking Views, Felix Alvarado reports there was a huge crowd at the game and prizes were given to the loudest organization. Tuesday night was blackout at Bernstein Mason and Marshall. The women's volleyball team took on the Avila Eagles as the fans competed to show who has the most school spirit all in hopes to win a hundred dollar pizza party. So tonight blackout, um, we're having a serving contest in between sets two and three to give out free uh, pizzas and NBC apparel and then we're also giving out a gift card for the most spirited, um, loudest group organization sport team uh, during the match. For the fans it's all about having fun but the incentive to win a pizza party brought them to the game. Uh, it's just lots of fun. Uh, first off it's just like a little incentive to come down. We're normally pretty loud and uh, get a lot of chance going so it was just pretty fun and you know it's a little bonus to get some to get some prize with it and be recognized also that we are supporting the other team. The players did not mind the crowd. Some home players even fed off of it. Having a big crowd really helps because it gets you into it, it gets you excited, it just brings the energy and it brings it more intense. You want to win more because of all the people in your school. With the help of the crowd, the Vikings won the match and improved their record to 15 and 4. The winners of the $100 gift certificate was Ta Kappa Epsilon, a social fraternity. The next home game is September 25th. Felix Alvarado, Viking Views. Holt says students can expect more prizes at upcoming games. Missouri Valley College introduced a food service company to start the school year. Viking Views, Ashley Lorenz has the story on how Missouri Valley is cooking up some fresh ideas. Fresh Ideas, the new food service on campus, is bringing new features to the MVC campus. The dining hall has a new layout and fresh paint. They also got rid of the trays and allow students to serve themselves. The former Grab and Go is now called Fresh and Go and has moved to the Malcolm Center Bistro area. The bistro is also open now, serving drinks, pizzas, and toasted sandwiches. The hours have also been changed for both the dining hall and the bistro area throughout the week, providing longer hours for students. Craig Rich, Director of Dining Services, is excited about the changes. The dining hall is a big machine and it feeds an awful lot of people. We can do some fun, fantastic things here and execute at a high level and do some 
concepts here with food, but the bistro is nice. It's something that's never been touched before, something that's never been run before, basically. So I think the bistro is going to be a nice little additive to the dining services at the college. Even though students are enjoying the new food service. What I like about it, there's more choices and the fact that you get to choose your own stuff. Like, you get to pick out your own stuff instead of waiting for somebody to serve you, so things go a lot faster. The new food service company will continue to make changes and are open to any comments from students. Ashley Lorenz, Viking Views. Rich hopes to continue to improve the dining hall and its services. The Malcolm Center for Student Life has become more than just a gym to students. Viking Views' Alyssa, Alicia Winston reports on the Malcolm Center becoming more than just a hangout spot. Service. The Malcolm Center Bistro has caught the attention of many students. Students who live on campus use their meal plan to purchase goods such as smoothies. Students who live off campus can purchase these goods as well and they have become quite popular. Um, with the new bistro, I really like how it's fresh and you can get more than just a PB&J or chicken patty. You can actually get a hot sandwich from uh, like a Philly or a turkey and club or you could get a fresh grilled chicken wrap or a sandwich or salad and they're a lot bigger proportions than just a puny size like last year. Also with the smoothies and the um, frappuccinos it's very much like a real college campus coffee shop and of course the coffees are always nice to get and you can get them anytime not just during lunch you can get them all the way up until 10 o'clock at night so it's really nice. The Malcolm Center Bistro is where students can grab a quick meal, but also hang out with friends during free time. Alicia Winston, Viking Views. The bistro hours are daily from 7 to 3 and evenings from 7 to 10, Monday through Friday. It's open on Saturday from noon to 3 and 5 to 11. The wet weather used to put a damper on Missouri Valley's rodeo team Put as Viking Views, Randy Beck reports, now the new indoor practice facilities is helping make a difference. Last year, a donation was made to the Missouri Valley College rodeo team. Marshall residents Don and Julie Juline provided a $750,000 donation for the construction of a new indoor practice facility. Before this pen, Valley had been the northmost team in the Ozark region without an indoor practice arena. President Humphrey says it's an amazing feeling to have such charitable people in our community. It's very exciting to sit in someone's kitchen and have them talk to you about giving you the amount of money we got for this, this building. And then just to write the check. It was just a marvelous, marvelous experience and, you know, one that you don't have happen very often. The team put on a presentation of some of the events that they are now able to practice in the new pen. Events from the event include bull riding, steer wrestling, and breakaway roping. Cassie Harper says this pen will benefit everyone in a positive way. To practice every day. We haven't had to miss practice for the rain like usual. Not Snow hasn't been a factor yet, but that's going to be a factor in the winter. So everyone's got to practice and we're all more prepared for the home rodeo this weekend than we usually are. Coach Mason gave a quick speech expressing his thanks towards the Julines, followed by the rope cutting. Randy Beck, Viking Views. Mason and the rodeo contestants are preparing for the Viking Stampede this weekend. Students will compete against other schools from the Ozark region for a shot at the Ozark Region Championship. Once upon a time at Missouri Valley College, a year of campus folklore was released September 2nd. The book launch was held in the Muir Library from 3 to 4. Three of the eight authors were present as well as Professor Claire Schmidt, they each discussed the book and explained what folklore is. The book was dedicated to Ed Leslie, Dr. Lauren Gerber, and Dr. Earl Reeves. So far, people have been really excited to see it. They're like, oh, I'm in that picture, or I know that person, or oh my gosh, I kept hearing that Young Hall is haunted, but I didn't know this, I didn't know that. Um, so, um, so far we've had really great positive responses and that's been a lot of fun to see. Um, I think that one of the things we're hoping is that people will be like, well, but why didn't you write about this? 
why didn't you tell this story? And they'd be like, tell us your stories. We need more stories. We want to keep track of this for the next time. Like, let's. The book can be purchased for $18 in the Viking Exchange Bookstore. Missouri Valley College always welcomes new teachers. Jin O'Keefe, a new teacher in the art department, is making her way around the college. And as Viking Views' Courtney Campbell reports, she's allowing students to have the freedom to create more than they thought they could. Clay being O'Keefe's passion has brought new light on Missouri Valley's campus with new ideas and activities. So I first started teaching art um, during grad school. Uh, as a graduate um, teaching assistant at Mizzou, you are given the opportunity to teach um, several different classes. You usually start out with something that's not necessarily in your major, and then you move on to something in your major. So I taught some foundation classes, and then I got to teach ceramics, and I fell in love with it. That's really where I found that I loved teaching, was in graduate school. As far as how I see the art program growing here, of course, being my emphasis in clay, um, I see a lot of more on-campus activities, more push to do community things. I know. So I would love to do some kind of fundraiser where students who are really, really, really interested in clay, um, we could have a pottery sale on campus to raise money. With the art department growing with new projects, O'Keefe hopes to find new ways of progressing her time here to make a difference. Courtney Campbell, Viking Views. O'Keefe has been on campus for four weeks and she has many exciting ideas for Valley to see. That's Viking Views for this week. I'm Guillermo Mosquita. Thank you for watching.